Today I finally received the case for my Pine 64 uh, Playbox version. And let's open this up and see what we got. I've got a fairly thick case here. It's got Pine 64 on the back. Um, I've got an extension cable which uh, will come in handy because I was wondering how the short cable was going to work with this project. And I've got quite a few little screws and tabs and as with the previous uh, versions or previous deliveries, uh, there's very little instructions. So, uh, what I will do is take apart my Pine 64 that's been sitting on my kitchen table for about two months now and I will reassemble it into this box and see what happens. I had several questions on my previous videos on how exactly these ribbon cables work. Uh, I'll try to get uh, I'll do this close in so you can see. Right here there's a little catch. Just pop that open. And all you need to do is make sure that the uh, metallic, oops, the metallic side of the ribbon uh, actually touches the metallic side of the connector. And there is another connector on this side. Very, very small and very, very fragile. It's right down there. See if I can get this open. Okay, that takes the monitor off. Obviously, I should have pulled the power cord first. So, that's out. Now, it looks like I will not be using this very short uh, ribbon cable. So, I can take that the rest of the way off. Okay. Now this over here is the Wi-Fi and that, uh, as I've said before, just pops straight down. But over here, I have a button that came with it. And uh, if you look at the two locations here, um, if you look right under there, one says power and where I have it in this location says reset. Uh, it's not soldered down, obviously. Uh, when I have this in the power uh, side on my particular board, it does not work. Uh, so I just have it on the reset side. And I will now go get a soldering iron and see if I can finish this install. Okay, my soldering iron is heating up. Uh, as you can see, I also have um, a solder sucker. In case I really make a big mistake, you just pull that and it'll pull the solder right back off. Hopefully I won't be using that today. Um, you can probably tell from my solder and iron, it looks like I've used it well, but uh, I probably have not powered it up in maybe 20 years. So it's just been sitting in the closet all that time. Um, I also have a nice big jar of flux. Uh, and a small brush. Uh, you want to put a little bit of flux where the circuits are going to get soldered and that helps the solder adhere to the parts that you want it to. And this is really fine work so uh, let's hope I don't damage the board. I didn't have it plugged in with the power earlier but I certainly could destroy it with the soldering iron. That's happened many times in my past. So we'll get ourselves a little bit of solder here. Oop. And we'll get it right there. Now, I am not the best solderer. I know that for many years. But we're going to give it a try here on the video. Alright, that one's 
one's being stubborn. I'll try not to melt the other connections while I do this. Oops. Yep, soldering is not my forte. Come on. Yep. And that's what I did not want to do. I guess I will be using this thing. So you get to watch my mistakes. This is not that easy to do while filming. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's try these other two without making such a big mess. There's a good chance that my flux is way too old. Okay, that one actually worked pretty well. Takes a little practice, and I have not practiced in many years. All right, we do not want that off to the side there. All right, so that was about the sloppiest uh, soldering job in the history of solder, but I think we got it, almost. I see this one's arcing here. All right. goal is to be able to push this button without the button falling off and it looks like that is working I know it's not very straight but there you go that's my soldering demo okay moving right along I see how this box is constructed uh, there are tabs on the inside which means once I put this screen on, I will not be able to access these tabs again. So best not to put the base plate on until uh, this is all put together. I don't know if can you can see that. There you go. Pop this tab a little bit forward, it releases, and try not to keep the next, you know, from, re from it reattaching. There we go. Hold it up a little bit. One more tab, and there we go. All right. And again, I have no instructions. You are watching me do this. As I learn so let's see 
First thing we need to know is which way this card is going to orient itself. So it's going to go this way. All right. And if that's the case, this is where the ribbon cable goes, and this is where the other ribbon cable goes. So when I flip this over, it looks like I will have to go this way with it. All right. Let's hope I guessed right on that. Okay, I have a cardboard insert, a bunch of screws, some clips, and the longer ribbon cable that came with this. So, It would appear it's pretty straightforward. There are marks on these. I see R. This one says L. Of course, it's hard to tell which way is R and which way is L. Okay, first things first, let's get the cables reattached. I'm using the longer cable that came with the uh, play box enclosure. Now if I snap that into place, it's supposed to stay in there. Let's try it again. Okay, it should be just a little bit snug put it in and it needs to line up on all of those different pins. Boom, there we go. So it looks perfectly straight, metal on metal, little tug, and that's holding firm. Okay. Okay, I thought I'd save you the 20 minutes of me throwing screws on the floor and cursing. So I have now um, put all of the tabs in, all of the screws, and this is the only place I could find to put the cardboard and it takes uh, four smaller screws. I assume that's to stiffen this. Um, but it doesn't seem to fit anywhere else, so it seems like a good guess that that's where it goes. Now for these cables. Okay. This one has plenty of cable, so I should not have a problem getting it in. Again, we just insert it into that little groove there it should stick just a tiny bit hopefully not pulling it out from the other side this is where being able to see helps a lot I wish I could all right so now that felt very positive it's not holding. Okay, and we try to latch the latch again. Alright, it's in tight. It appears to be straight. Tug it one more time, tight. 
locked. Okay. Now this one is difficult, and I've put him in about three times, so let's hope I got a fourth time without breaking. I'm not sure there's an easy way to do this. If there is, I haven't found it yet. But I need those metal metal side to attach to the metal. Okay, my camera ran out of battery before I ran out of fumbling around. Let's try this one more time. The metal side has to go down. This has to go in the slot. Oop. It's very springy. So it is not really working with me. In. All right, we'll try to get this small cable on. Metal side is going down. I just need to get it into that slot. Not so easy. Try number seven. Make sure my gate is open. Using every trick I know. All right, seat the cable nice and tight. Don't let it spring back. Close the little gate. Ah. Nope. Try number eight. Hope I'm not twisting this up too much. Okay. All right. That's seated, I could feel it. And close the gate. Okay, it's staying in. It's straight. All right, well, that was fun. So, for all of those who commented on my previous videos, how does one get those cables on? That is how it's done in only eight easy steps. All right. I will now screw this thing down because I am confident that I have all the cables plugged in correctly. So I will very likely be unscrewing it down. There we go. And I lost my first screw. This is why I kind of didn't... Uh, Show you the earlier. Uh, oh, look, all the screws are in, just like magic. Okay. I have the screen aligned. I have my power cord over here, which we'll just plug right in there. We'll power it up. Light comes on, very nice. And <sighs> let's see what happens. Well, that's a good sign.
All right. Looks like we have something going on here. It looks like the touch screen might be working, which is the small cable. Got my free cell game, so. I'm gonna say this project's completed. Now you can see I've got the power, the uh, monitor, and the ethernet port on this side, and those look pretty well done. On this side, it's just pretty much a big opening so I got my USBs um, and I can see straight into the other board uh, where the uh, Wi-Fi is so I don't know if I like that that much and here's the reset button we soldered in ha! Huh. and it resets it let's see if it does more than just reset it oh good alright so the reset button was nice and solid didn't short out very happy about that I uh, kind of wish that the power button uh, was working rather than the reset button, but uh, so far this project has been uh, uh, pretty fun to assemble, so I think that about uh, ends this video. I hope uh, you have as good a luck and can solder better than me, and don't drop all your screws on the floor. Have fun!